I made a pork loin pot roast. I gotta clean his table, so I have spaghetti on it. Um, but it's a pork loin. I just cut a piece off. Pork loin with carrots and potatoes and a bunch of seasoning. I seared the pork loin. I seasoned it and then seared it and then seasoned it again and seasoned the broth. And it tastes really good, but Waylon just wants to play with my computer, so. I did not record a lot of footage today of Waylon. Um, he went to daycare and I worked on a lot of stuff for the business today. And I did therapy and then I just got drained. I made a pork loin early in the morning. And then after daycare, I took Waylon straight to a play date to meet a new friend named Luca. And I made a new friend too. She's very nice, um, but I didn't film a lot of that because Waylon was playing with Luca, and so I don't like to film other people's kids because it's not my kid to put on the internet. Um, there was like a sprinkler malfunction at this little park we went to, and so the whole park was like soaked, but it was fenced in, which I really liked, and it was just a small little park, perfect for little toddlers. Um, like it had a little baby slide, it had a little staircase to go up. It had a bigger slide that was more like a medium slide, and then it had one ladder to get up near the medium slide, and then it had like a rock wall that you could climb to get up, and that was it. And Waylon really liked the rock wall, he liked the little slide, he only did the ladder once, he did the puddle at the bottom of the medium slide like right away, and I scooted the mulch into the hole to make to get rid of the puddle, um, but him and Luca, Luca had on sandals and Waylon was wearing his little tennis shoes, but him and Luca were splashing in it together and jumping and stuff, and Luca is one month younger than Waylon, and they had a great time. They were doing the slide together, um, climbing all over each other, and Waylon was saying his name. I was teaching him how to say it before we got to the park. I said, your new friend's name is Luca. Can you say hi, Luca? And he said, gah, gah. <laughs> and we got there and he was very bashful at first um but then he opened up and by the end of the play date he was even interacting with Luca's mom and like tapping on her thighs and she was helping him do the slide and stuff and we made plans to meet up again for another play date um and so that was nice and then when we came home I fed Waylon some of that pot roast, and then I had three business calls I had to do, and so Waylon was playing a little bit, and I was hoping that Zach would be home in time to see, see Waylon before bedtime, but Waylon started banging his head against the couch and making talking in gibberish, so we had to get him to bed right away. And so I put him to bed, and then Zach came home, and then as soon as Waylon fell asleep, I took a bath. And I did the dishes and swapped the laundry and now I'm sitting in the chair and I'm going to do more business stuff. I'm going to an estimate tomorrow for my first time since Zach still works at his job. Um, he doesn't have availability during like the day to do estimates so I have to go and do it and I'm going to learn how to do it basically by just doing it and it'll be fun. Um, it'll be great. And then, yeah, so right now I'm going to get on the computer and make a little cute little checklist of stuff that I need, information I need to gather while I'm at the estimate so that Zach can come up with the price. Because he's the expert, like, wizard man and knows all that stuff. Babe, show Waylon. What's he doing? Sleeping. Binks. He's sleeping. He is sleeping. He's just a little baby. I'm 21 weeks pregnant. Um, I think as of Sunday. And I think tomorrow I actually have a visit with my midwife, which is exciting. I love seeing her. She's so nice. Um, and then soon, I think next week maybe, or the week after, I have my 20 week ultrasound which is the growth scan where they measure all the body parts and they basically tell you if the baby has any abnormalities and we're going to confirm the gender we did a blood test at six weeks pregnant and it said it was a boy but i have i live with a husband and a son and 
sex boy cats. So, I don't know. Some people said that the, that that could mess up the genetics or something. But then other people said if you had the test taken in the clinic where they draw the blood, that it's less likely that male DNA from surrounding areas would interfere with it. Because this is the type of test that they also can send to your house and you can just like finger prick yourself or something or somehow draw your blood at home or spit in the tube I guess I don't know and they can tell the gender of the baby from looking at your blood I don't know so we're gonna confirm it because we're gonna actually look at the genitals and I'm hoping it's a boy because we already got some boy clothes but we originally wanted a girl but it would be good to have two boys too what do you think babe I think it's a boy you think it's a boy yeah they said it's a boy do you want another boy? I'm fine with it either way. Zach's good with it. So things are picking up um, with our businesses. We're getting more and more clients and stuff. So that's very exciting. And I will try to film something in the morning of Wayland. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.